Hello everyone, welcome to AI Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about the statistical functions. This is very important topic because here we are going to learn how to apply the probability and statistical theory with simple formulas. Once again, we will learn about this topic in probability and statistics. But now we are going to just see some overview. What do you mean by statistic function? It is nothing but it describes the distribution using numbers. Here in the image you can see some bell curve. Just by seeing this bell curve we can able to get so many details about a particular ML model. And we can categorize this study into two types. One is measurement of center that is what that center means then spread of this data that is how the data is spread we'll see one by one first we will implement and come back to this diagram as usual import numpy as np the first step once we are done with this we are going to implement this statistic function for this particular example so you have a class contains nine students each students have its own height like 140, 155 centimeter, 190 centimeter and so on. So simple example, just printing it. So totally we have nine. Let's apply each statistic function to this example. The first one is mode. Mode means the data value that is most frequently observed. So in your data, if you want to find what particular value is occurred many times, then the best option is mode. For that, you have to import one more library from SkyPy import stats. For mode alone, you have to import this particular library. Now, we'll print and see print stats dot mode inside this pass the height. If we execute this, 140 centimeter occurred three times. So this means in a class, the students with 140 centimeter, you can find mini person. And this is just a dummy data. So I gave a numbers randomly. Just understand the concept alone. Don't do research on heights. So the first one is mode. Mode means it will display most frequently observed in a data set. Then second one is median. Median means physical middle point. It means the data value that is positioned in the middle of an ordered data set. Another definition, uh, this is the value separating the higher half of the data sample from the lower half. In order to explain this concept, let me first sort the data. So height dot sort, now displaying the ordered list because we made the sort. If you display, see, Initially, it will be in a random numbers 155, 190, 182. It is unordered. Now, I just ordered in a sequential way, increasing order 140, 145, 155, 159, and the maximum height is 195 centimeter. In this, as per the definition, the data value that is positioned in the middle of the ordered data set. It means in this data, the middle number is nothing but median here 9 value it means fifth value will be the middle number 1 2 3 4 5 so 155 is called as median of our data set just for explanation purpose I displayed the ordered list but you can directly implement print np dot median pass the id so it is 155 so mode means a value which occurs multiple time median means it is the center of our data set physical point so same example what i am going to do here i just added one more value 10th value in the above example it is just an uh, odd numbers so finding middle value is very easy what in case of even numbers that is having 10 numbers then just will execute 10 number means the middle number is fifth and sixth value so it will take those two value 
and take average of it that is 146 plus 155 divided by 2 which is nothing but 150.5 this is all like a single dimension that is 1d what if it is multi dimension we are creating an array using random method 3 cross 3 till the value 16 so when we execute 3 cross 3 matrix contains 9 value till the range 16 this will be generated randomly for every execution now if we want to find the median of this particular multidimensional data it is very easy mean of an array is np dot median past that particular array a if we execute the median of this particular 3 cross 3 matrix is 10 in addition to this in previous videos and all we can able to do the calculation based on its axis axis is equal to 0 means it will calculate the median in y axis axis is equal to 1 means it's an x axis just adding an additional argument inside the median function if we execute so for this 3 cross 3 matrix the median in the y axis that is 10 14 1 the median value is 10 10 9 and 3 that is column wise the value is 9 then for a third column the value is 8 same way if we mention axis equal to 1 means it will calculate in its row wise so for first row it is 10 for second row it is 9 and third row it is 3 so these are all the ways we can able to calculate the median we know what is a mode mode means in this particular point you can find maximum number of students with same height and median means it's a physical point which divides both left and right side 50 percentage equally it doesn't care about the weightage now mean means it is almost like a seesaw concept in this example both a blue color person are 50 50 pounds equally so the finding the center point is easier one here but the data set we will get will not be like that mostly we will be getting data set like this uh, here the left side is 40 pounds right side is 160 pounds now we have want to balance this data set so we have to find the mean and this mean is nothing but center of balance if you find that particular point in a data set means that divides the data set equally in terms of weightage that concept is called mean once we calculate the mean then we will find the standard deviation with the mean and standard deviation we can come to many conclusion about the data set let's try to calculate the mean for the data set so print np dot mean height for our data set the mean is 160.66 so it means so in this data set if we want to equally balance then we have to take the point here 160.66 so that both left and right side will be balanced and this is the mean for our data set same way it is possible to find the mean for two dimensional data 3 cross 3 matrix I am directly executing it so for this 3 cross 3 matrix the mean is 7.55 same like above example we can able to find the mean for its y axis and x axis that's also possible so when we execute for this 3 cross 3 matrix when axis is equal to 0 means it will calculate the mean column wise when axis is equal to 1 means it will calculate the mean row wise so first row 2 1 6 the center point is 3 same way for other rows and of course column it's very easy if we understood the concept we found the mode medium and mean this is how we will calculate the values using statistic function based on our requirement you will get full clarity about these concept when you watch mathematics for ai that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning